What's up guys, Quezzy here, or Noah, bringing you guys another video. Today I'm going to be talking about some of the best free plugins in Cinema 4D. Uh, before we get started, I just want to give a huge shout out to my Patreon subscribers. Um, that includes the names up on the screen, Trevor Sheldon, Mark Kamocha, Sean Ray, Christian Cruz, Elham Al-Saban, Rej Ni, JJ Perez, uh, Jesus Almaraz, Clay Fisher, Mark Butts, not sure if that's a real name, and David McGoin, McGoings, yeah, um, big shout out to all of them, some of them aren't current Patreons, or patrons, but, uh, they either were with me for a while, or, um, didn't get their last shout out, so big shout out to them, also a big shout out to Skillshare for sponsoring this video, and I will talk about them later on. Before I get into the plugins, I also want to mention three features um, that aren't plugins. One is in Cinema 4D, and two are downloadable sort of plugins, but they're not in the plugins tab. The first one is the v uh, Voronoi Fracture, which is right here. You may have seen my video about the Voronoi Fracture. I have a full tutorial with it and I have a few coming up. It's a really great Cinema 4D feature. Also the plugin Motion Drop, which is in the content browser instead of the plugins. And then also the plugin Noisecape, which is also not in the plugins um, folder. And uh, you need a certain script to run it, which my Cinema 4D version does not have. So I haven't been able to mess around with it as much as I'd like. Um, so those are three things to check out that aren't necessarily plugins, but I thought I should mention at the beginning of this. Now let's go ahead and talk about plugins. So I have 12 free plugins that I want to mention, and I'm going to go in no particular order, but I do have like the top 10-ish, like the 10 ones that I sort of use or like or plan to use. Um, so the two that don't make that cut are the plug this plugin called Magic Laser. Now there's a bunch of cool things you can do with Magic Laser, but none of it is something that I would do. It would be great for motion designers, as you can do various cutouts and create like laser shots um, with it, and it's really neat. You can kind of create like a lightsaber look, um, but I haven't been able to fully explore it. And also, I don't think I will fully explore it as it's not something that necessarily um, interests me in my still images and things like that. Um, the other plugin which I may use but also I haven't been able to get down is Jet Fluids, which has its own tab in Cinema 4D. And you'll see you drop it down, you have New Scene, Scene, Emitter, Fluid, and if you do New Scene, you get a scene with a fluid and emitter and what you do is um, add an object to the box or um, the little figure they give you so let me try to place this in here and then you go to emitter and go to body and add that shape and then you go to the fluid and start catching start caching and it will create a liquid from the shape you put into that um, box and I'm sure there's a bunch of other stuff you can do with this uh, but basically you can create fluids and it's absolutely free obviously there's some limitations with it being free but I figured this is something that some people might use so I wanted to include it although it's something I haven't really messed around with now we're gonna talk about my 10 favorite free plugins and I'd like to make a note that three of them are free, but have limitations as they have paid for versions. But the free versions are still really good plugins as they are. Um, so I'll talk about the first one here. They all are from the same creator, um, which you'll figure out as you go to download these. Um, it's called like Code Fonk or something. Um, but if I go to my plugins, you can see here are some of the plugins we're going to be using. And the first one is this unfolder. Now this kind of unfolds um, objects. So if we get a cube here and actually let's just do 10 segments each. And let me put the shading lines on. If we drag that in, 
and set the strength up, you can see it unfolds the cube. Um, now there's some limitations with the free version as your it says you're stuck to N polygons, polygon ID mode, and mode ABCD mode. So you can see right here, N polygons, you're stuck with polygon ID, and then mode, you're stuck with ABCD. So you can't mess with these two settings unless you get the activation key, which um, I didn't, and I played around and got some interesting looks with this. Um, so we can come down here to divide, and that will change the way it um, unravels and we can go up again and it will change it into a different way and you can keep playing around with that you can also fork them and play around with a lot of these settings until um, you get something you like uh, this is a plugin I haven't spent enough time messing around with oops I want to go to strength I haven't spent enough time playing around with it yet um, but I plan to, it's in my future, um, but obviously you can see that it has a lot of interesting applications that it could be used for, such as animation, um, making figures appear, and possibly making text appear, that sort of thing. That's the Unfolder plugin. Alright, the next plugin I have is Spline Guide, um, which is from the same creators of the last one. It allows you to create a spline and have um, simulated hair follow that spline and then you can go ahead and animate that hair along that spline you created um, which is a great way to create like tethered rope and um, a great way to animate rope that maybe like a Reaper X won't which I'll talk about later but it allows you to do a lot of cool things with hair and maybe creating like a rope effect or anything else that you may want to use hair for the next plugin is Polygroups Flatten, and this is a really neat plugin for some of the things I do, creating like abstract shapes and stuff. So if I get a sphere here and turn on the shading lines, I'm going to click C on my keyboard to edit it and select some, um, um, some, what are these called, faces, some polygons on the sphere. And you can see the sphere is obviously rounded. Um, maybe I hold shift and go ahead and select a couple more pieces Like that and you can see these are pretty random and spread out throughout the circle if I go to the plugin and Go to poly polygons flatten Boom, you'll see it just flattens all of those um, So this is actually super helpful when like modeling something or just trying to create an abstract abstract shape uh, I've messed around with this and like adding deformers and stuff to spheres and um, uh, a couple other shapes that usually have rounded bits and if you just increase the segments and pop this plugin in. The next plugin is another one of those free plugins that has a limitation but the limitation is 6,000 polygons and a single cell mode which kind of is all you need for it and the plugin is called Alveol. Um, you may have seen this in my last tutorial which was a text tutorial using this plugin. It's a really awesome plugin. I really like it. I'm really kind of obsessed with it. And actually, I did a little class on Skillshare that features it. Um, if you guys are interested in Skillshare, be sure to check it out. Um, I have a link in the description where you can get two months of Skillshare free. Watch that class. Watch what I do with that um, plugin. See what I create in Cinema 4D and Photoshop. Um, it's really neat, so be sure to click that link in the description and sign up for two months free. Um, and as you can see on screen right now, that the Alveol plugin kind of creates these cellular looks. And you have an option to fill them or kind of leave them so it's like a cage effect. And it's really awesome for creating uh, like a cellular looking object or just creating abstract text or an abstract object of some sort. And it's a really fun plugin to mess around with. I suggest downloading it and trying it out. I'm um, not sure how well it'll work with animation, but you can like pulsate the size, which is pretty neat. The next free plugin is two plugins, but they're from the same creator and do a very similar thing. The plugins were created by Render Tom, and the first one is called Umami, and the second one is called Kurulum, or something like that. 
and they both create these crazy wires and random splines um, that you can use to that you can use to create abstract scenes or animations with. Umami is a lot more kind of like um, liquidy looking um, splines, while Kirulalalaman, I don't, I can't say it right, um, is more curly splines and um, has more like right angles to it. It's kind of more abstract because it's less organic, um, but it's a really neat looking plugin so I recommend checking it out as well especially if you're into animations that would use random splines or if you're creating abstract renders where you would want some random splines created for you um, it's not the most customizable in my opinion um, but it's still a lot of fun to play around with and really easy to use the next plugin as we only have three more left is a plugin called net creator now this plugin allows you to create splines in between two objects and I used it to create some um, various renders that connected pieces or connected objects um, with like text or something. It's great for creating like wire framed objects where you just have like the outline and like the grid and stuff like that. Great for like a f futuristic U um, UI. Um, it's just a really neat plugin to mess around with in those aspects. I noticed that when you connect some objects though there's like too many lines it can get like a little bit overwhelming but like with squares and things and um, two like polygons or or like two spheres or rounded shapes um, it can look really neat and create some awesome looking lines and the second to last plugin is one that you've probably seen before if you're looking for plugins I'm sure you probably already downloaded this or have seen it in either other videos or websites and that is Reaper um, I know it as Reaper X, uh, that, that's what it was called when I first downloaded it years ago. Um, now it's called Reaper 2.0 because it's like the second version. Obviously you can create like rope splines um, using it, but it's really easy to use and the new version, the 2.0 version, has different rope styles when before it was just kind of like one or two I believe. And um, you can have like five or three strands. The strands can interlace in different ways and it's a great way for obviously creating rope or you can go just a single strand and create like wicked looking splines make them thinner on different sides the final plugin is procedural which is a the last of the free plugins that are really paid for plugins but you don't need to pay for it really um, the free version is just limited to one material so really there's not much you're missing out and if you want to add multiple materials you can just duplicate the object kind of change it around and add a new a different material sort of like what I do in this tutorial that is playing um, which you guys may be familiar with um, but this breaks down objects with different noise textures and you can play with the settings to get more or less broken down and also create some awesome animations with it and it's a fairly easy to use plugin uh, once you download it and start messing around with it and seeing what the different settings do, you can kind of pick it up. Also, if you check out my tutorial, that should help you learn it if you're interested. Or you can look at the source video from the creators. But yeah guys, that's this video. I hope you found some free plugins that you're interested in and download. If you do download any of these, let me know in the comments. Be sure to drop a like on the video if you liked it. Subscribe for more videos like this and tutorials, and be sure to follow me on Twitter at Quezzy. Also, be sure to check out my Patreon page where you can get a lot of awesome goodies. And once again, be sure to check out Skillshare with my link in the description if you are interested. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.